Welcome back. This is the semifinals of the Geekery Super Sunday series. Tim on your left. Tim's been on camera a lot today, but Tim just ended up winning and ended up on camera. And then we've got Jared on your right playing blue black control. And Jared's list, I haven't seen anything like it in the format. There's some Grixis decks that have been popping up. Okay. Just because the addition of red is huge. Sure. But Jared has decided to do not do that and Don't just run it. all the cool blue black yeah. creatures. He has a bunch of cool yeah. things in his deck. A lot of John the Locks. <laughs> that's his, that, that's like his goal for this deck was just run all the big cool creatures right, and so like spells. Tim thought seizing a thought seize out of Jared's hand. Jared does have Dragon Lord Silver in his hand, which is very good in this matchup. Turn two is when you want it. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Scavenging goose from Tim, uh, threatening to make this draw in the lock have no text. I mean, if you're playing Azusa's and Amulet, you can turn to you that. You can, and neither is <laughs> legal in the format, and they're not blue or green. Blue or red. Blue or black. Blue or black. <laughs> what? All right. Uh, Jared's just going to keep playing lands. Yes, yeah, second news out of Tim. Wow. Um, At the, Jared is running Dig. Which means very hard to cast it when Ooze is eating your graveyard. Oh out. my goodness! Yeah. Yes, Ooze is just one of those cards. It just like it's just incidentally good against Delve, yeah. incidentally good against graveyard decks, and like incidentally good in the creature matchups. Mm -hmm. Like it's weird. It's just a wonderful card. <coughs> but there's also the games where it's a two-two bear. Yep. Here's yeah. a Liliana on the Last Hope. This is one of the two-two bear games. But uh, I, it, well, it also eats your opponent's graveyard. That's oh, the all right. So Jared goes heroes downfall that Liliana. And there's languish. Languish <laughs> these guys away. All right. So, oh man. So now he's got Silengar drawn in the lock land. Yes, that is his hand. Tim is a little bit stuck on lands here, but that also just means Tim's hand is full of spells. Yeah, right. Like, I, it must be four minute spells. Like there's a Nissa. Nissa is also really good in these control matchups. Nissa is really good in these matchups. Yeah. You just makes infinite creatures, and then at some point you can make them actual yep. threats. Or you can draw 14 cards, as we saw him do earlier <laughs> in this tournament. God, Johnny. Oh, Kalitas! So if Tim can't answer this, it's going to be a problem, but Tim has a question probably beast. can answer this. Murder Strider. Yeah. Okay. Murder Strider is... A very, very good, good answer. Yeah. Kills almost any creature and yep. almost any Planeswalker. Yep. So here's a Narset send it. <laughs> Not finishing that name is rough. It is. I didn't realize what was going to yeah. happen. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anywho, picks up a hero's downfall. Um, this is kind of where Jared wants to be, I think, where you can just make these trades over and over There's again. There's a Thoughtseize. A Drown in the Locket. Just Drown in the Locket. Keep the hero's downfall. The hero's downfall. Yep. I, mean, I think he has to kill the Nissa at this point. Oh, he's just going to cast Murder's Rider. Minus Nissa kill, make it so Narsa can't do her effect again. Yes. Yeah. That is what he's I think that's pretty good. Narset being a three mana treasure cruise isn't amazing. Yeah. Uh, but if she ever gets to do it twice, it's outstanding. Sure. So taking Jared off of that option is huge. Yeah, Narset was at four counters and I couldn't understand yeah. why. But now she's there, it's impossible. Eh, it's not impossible, but it's not easy for her to be at four. So now Jared's got a couple things he can do. I don't know if any of them are that good. You probably have to hear his downfall, the Nissa. Just before things get any worse. Yeah. And then hope he doesn't draw a discard spell for the Silumgar. Yeah. Hope that Tim. Just plays something incredible you can steal. Uh, there, I mean, there it is. That's the questing piece. <laughs> okay. So one, two, three, four, five, plus so nine damage. Nine damage is a lot of damage. Yeah, but you get to steal the murderous rider. I don't think you take. I think you have to take the questing piece. Well, you just infinitely block it forever. But what? It is. It has death touch. Holy shit, that thing's so good. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you just need to. You got to take the questing beast. Tim <laughs> is is really ahead of the meadow with these beasts here. They are just messing everyone up. Yeah, you like have to have a response at some point in the game where they take over. Yeah, here's this. Take the. I thought you pointed out the plant. I was like, <laughs> interesting choices from Jared. <laughs> yeah. Assassin trophy on that, and then the game just ends. Yeah. Game is just wow. over. Wow. That is insane. That was pretty quick. Out of like, Tim has a really mid range control deck that just killed Jared. Yeah. All right. Our players are back after sideboards. Um, I didn't really take a look at what they got. I don't know if there's too many things that they're going to bring in. Tim doesn't have a ton. He's got Duresses, Veil of Summers. Sure, so just more discard. Yeah, more discard and a little bit of protection. That's about all he has. Sure. How about on Jared's side? Uh, I like Enter the God Eternals. It's really good in these value matchups where you get to take a bunch of creatures. And uh, I don't know. That's about it. <laughs> uh, Jared didn't see all of Tim's planeswalkers. He has an elder spell. I don't know if he's going to bring it in, but Tim runs. He a did. Ton he of saw Liliana Last Hope. 
I guess he did. He saw Nissa voices Endicar, and he saw a third thing. I don't know what it was. Yeah. Maybe it was just two, but yeah. still, like seeing two different planeswalkers, you bring in you probably spell. bring in another spell. Yeah. Unless your deck is already like fine at dealing with it, planeswalkers, but usually these control decks can't. Yeah. Or at least not efficiently, I should say. Sure. Here's a blast zone, which doesn't actually hit a ton of Jared's deck. These players haven't done anything. No, land go. Yeah. I think that's what Jared wants to be doing. Tim is the one that has to start yep. being. I think the this is pressure. very good for Jared. Very bad for Tim. And is Tim going to miss a land drop? That is not good. You really want to always make your land drop in these control oh, layers. Yeah. So here's a Liliana. Does it resolve? And looks like it's gonna. Yeah, Jared. Minus and whiff place. on everything. And then there's the hero's downfall. Unfortunate. I like the minus, because if Tim does think that there's a removal spell, Plessing does nothing, the minus at least gives you a chance at value. Yep, that's a really heads up play by Tim, yes. I think. The blast zone is now gone, so now he gets to get that forest. I don't know if that was his plan, but that's what it is. That's what he did. Jared really agonizing over this mount. What are the fuck are these called? Island Islands versus swamp. Versus swamp. <laughs> Those mountains, man. They're tough. Yeah. They're hard to choose sometimes. God, Jared has five mana. Uh, Scarab God would be very nice right now. Looks like push, progress. push, legions, and languish. There's almost no creature that gets to live right now. Yeah. Which is... Not a good situation for Tim, because Tim's threats are all creatures, turns out. I think ah, he has Vraska and Grook. Yep. So this Legion's End means that Tim, taking Legion's End probably means Tim has multiples of something in his hand. Or he has a Planeswalker that makes a bunch of tokens, maybe? Sure. Like, there's a couple ways, but there's not a ton. Yeah. Uh, Tim, still stuck on three lands. Not in a great position, which sucks. Ooh, just moving to end step to discard. Size. That's too bad. That is like the biggest feel bad is to discard a hand size. Yes. And it gets to control mirror where your opponent's making all of his land drops. Yeah. That's pretty bad. Not a control mirror, excuse me. Oh, uh, another jump. discard. Here's a dig. Just more or less hard casting. It. Yeah. <laughs> but it just doesn't matter because Tim has not been able to do anything this game. Tim's just going to cast a Veil of Summer to draw a card on end step. I guess. Like, I mean, he needs his fourth land drop and he picked up a questing beast instead of a land. So, like. Jeez. Tim is flooded with these four drops and spells that can't interact. So the thing is, if he ever hits this land, he's going to... Oh, he got a Kissing Quagmire as his Oh land. my god, are you serious? Unfortunate. It's a Scooze at least. Yep. Fatal Push. Veil of Summer, Summer, Fatal, fatal push. push again. Does not matter. Still gets a draw card. He does get to get a card off that, which and is Veil doesn't target either. Like, yeah, Veil is very good. No, there's no downside to Veil. Yeah. He's a Questing Beast, right? <gasps> Oh, uh, it's a tireless tracker. Ooh, that feels bad when you don't have a land. Oh, just a disallow. disallow. Just don't yeah. even let it resolve. There was a land. There would have been two clues. It would have been a bit of a pickle for Jared. I like Tim sitting on the questing beast here. I think he knows that the questing beast is a pretty high value threat. Yeah, I mean, the problem is a lot of Jared's big creatures are able to just block it and not care about it. Well, like, he has that touch. Scarab God doesn't care. Okay. Scarab God goes to the graveyard, goes back to your hand. Yes. Yeah, like. True. There are like threats. In Enter the God Eternals. To deal. F what do you kill with it? Uh, something. Probably that top card in the graveyard. Looks like a scoop. Nope, it's a Blooming Marsh. <laughs> That's what he did. He killed it. He probably made Tim mill four. <laughs> something, yeah. yeah. Uh, but he does have a 4 4 now, and he gains some life. And here is an. Ooh, Liliana's Triumph. Yeah. Make him sack that. Get out of here. Silly zombie army. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, ooh, Vraska. That's a Planeswalker, which these decks are typically bad at answering. It looks like Jared has so many ways yes. to get this in his hand. He's drowned in the log, yeah. disallow. Yeah. He just can do a million different things and not care. Sure. Playing a tapped, choked estuary. So now he's looking at Languish, Drown, one more card. I can't tell what that is. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> Questing Beast, maybe, time? Like it just gets countered or destroyed by Drown in the Lock. It's or a wrinkle. wrinkle. Interesting. I was not expecting that. I kind of forgot Wrinkle was in this deck. Yep. Not going to lie. Wrinkle's pretty but good. But there's the Drown of the Lock. Yep. Never hits the board. Tim has a lot of hasty threats. Wrinkle and eight? Pussy Beast. I think that's actually quite good. Does I think those eight? make a difference. Probably seven? Probably three Yeah, wrinkles. like probably two Wrinkles, I guess. Uh, two Wrinkles, two Questing Beast. So only four. Four, okay. So less than we thought, but still, yeah. they're very good. So this Verasca is just going to resolve now. That's nice. Jared has no response there. That means Tim gets to start drawing some cards. Yep. But Jared also has... It looks like a Dragon Lord Silimgar. Like, so many things. So take the Veraska. He gets to minus to kill the... Oh, he's got a plus. Plus. Sack a land, draw a card, card, gain a life. 
Sure. Field of Ruin. I was going to say Field of the Dead. I was. That I, was. <laughs> when you said Field of Ruin, I was like, oh no, he meant Field of the Dead. But it, it's not. Field of the Dead's very good, turns out. Assassin's Trophy on Silimgar. So he's passing that Vraska back with eight loyalty on That is a little risky. It's quite a lot. So Vraska's ultimate is a minus nine that says your opponent gets an emblem that says whenever they take combat damage, they die. This Vraska, I think, puts them to one. No. I think this is, this is whenever they take combat damage, they die. No, no, I think this one puts them to one life. You were saying put them to one earlier? Yeah. And I thought that you were essentially saying that uh, if they take one damage, I they die? I think this one just put it straight puts their life total to one. I might be wrong, though. No, it's the one that I said. Is it? Yeah. Which one puts their life total to one? Relic Seeker? There are a lot of Raskas, so, and they all, they're all their ults yeah. essentially read the same thing. Raska will occur in her and almost says, whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, that player loses the game. Essentially, all of Raska's ults read whenever you take damage, you die. Yeah. All right, so Vraska up to 10 now, threatening an ultimate next turn. It looks like that's a Liliana that went down. So Jared has 5, 10 mana, yeah. which means he does have the out of getting back to Silimgar if he has a Scarab God, yeah. which would be huge. Sadly, Tim has a creature <laughs> that exiles cards from graveyards. It does, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So it might be a bit tough for uh, Jared to do that, but it does mean Tim has to hold it up for a while. Yeah. So essentially, he's got to. There's the scarab there's god. There's the scarab god, actually. So okay. So Tim is going to eat a, a land. land, fetch. Does so he have a response to this, or does it resolve? So we're, I don't know if it's on the stack or not. Let's see. Uh, so. Okay, so it looks like it resolves. It resolves. But this. and then Jared's going to respond by eternalizing the Silimgar and taking this Vraska and ultimating it. <laughs> okay, so now and Sil Silimgar is flying. Yeah, like and so Tim has to answer Silimgar right now, or he dies on his next turn. Oh my gosh, that's quite the series of events. Yeah, yeah, and he also gets Scarab God back his next turn. Yeah, because Scarab God died, not get, not got, they didn't get exiled. Yeah, and that's, yeah, that's it. it. That's the game. That'll get him. All right, for game three, it looks like Jared's gone down to six. Tim is happy with his seven. Jared just keeps putting cards on the bottom of his library. I don't know. Yeah, Kalidus. Who wants a Kalidus? Oh, he was thinking about it. Yeah. I, like, I thought he was just doing something. I thought he was cheating. I'm not sure. Uh, Tim <laughs> Here's an untapped Field of Passage, which is not how this card works. I think it's in the graveyard. No, Tim. I mean, the land's untapped. I don't know. I mean, he's oh, okay, it was just on end step. He's okay. Cutting, yeah. <laughs> Scoozy boy. Scooz early. Yeah, uh, Jared doesn't look like he has too many... Like he's got two dig through times and an elder spell. I mean, that's not terrible. If like these games go long usually, and if yeah. they go long, Jared just gets to ta cast dig, cast elder spell, cast dig. I just feel like he might not have enough action to get to the long game. I think this might. Just I mean, there's be... a supreme verdict. No, supreme uh, will. Oh yeah, that which counters this questing beast, that which point. is huge. Yeah. Oh man. Not having to take four there is a game changer. I think his two yeah. disallows too. He does. Yeah, like I think his hand is much better than you gave him uh, credit for. Boy, who knows. <laughs> All right, so he's got a language he's looking at. He says he's going to slam a scarab god. god. Like Tim, I think has very few answers to this scarab god. Uh, he's got the kill it on your instep, untap, eat it. Yeah, I mean, like I could main phase kill it, eat it, but he has three mana right now. No, he has to kill it on Jared's instep, and then untap and eat it. Yeah, I mean, like. It's not a ton which sucks. Yeah. I mean, he has Scooze and Death Rate. There's the Assassin's Trophy, and then he will do that. Yep. So he does have the out. Jared sure. does get a, get a land, though. And I don't know. Jared's deck with six mana is pretty good. You all you have Languish in the deck, so... He has Languish in his hand. Oh. Well, these creatures might just die this turn. <laughs> well, they did. How bad? <laughs> I mean, Questing Beast is still going to be... A nope, just doesn't matter. He drew a Blooming Marsh for his oh, fourth land drop. sure. And there's a tireless. Uh, yeah, tireless. But Trekker. yeah, I'm gonna help you out getting through that word. Little miss sequencing there, but nothing terrible. Oh, who cares? Yeah, yeah, he doesn't need to draw cards. Yeah. So here's the clue. Okay. For the swamp. Sure. And he does have Kali Tas. I think both players do at this point. Did Jared happen to draw another Kali Tas? It's looking like they both did. Kali Tas. Right? I'm not gonna react to that. The Kali Tas, Steven? <laughs> Jared also gets to hard cast this dig through time again. Ah <laughs> oh, man, Jared going down to four. Uh, I think Jared just doesn't care. You don't think so? I am worried for Jared. Jared just looked at the top seven and took the best two. 
<laughs> and can do it again if you would like. Sure. If he is, yeah, like, I think he's in a very powerful spot. Okay, there's he's, a... He has a removal spell. Okay. There's a murderous rider. Yep. So that all these creatures are dead. Okay. I guess, like, Questing Beast does win the game here. Yes, it two does. And a half, I mean, like, Jared has to have no two mana removal. Well, I mean, I can see Jared's hand. He is just cold to a Questing Beast. Is he? And that is a great <laughs> Oh, I mean, he has an Elder Spell. Oh, my goodness. But the opponent does get two 1-1s. One I think he just drew Slingar. Oh, my God, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. That is, like... Can I read that for no reason? So good. <laughs> <laughs> Because I, th- I don't think Tim has a way to deal with this six mana creature. Well, I mean, he has a million heroes downfalls. What happens? Is, does, do the wolves read whenever your gr- whenever they die? Uh, your Garrick group planeswalkers you control. Okay, yeah. So it does say you control. It doesn't just say all Garrick get yeah. plus one plus one. It's all Garrick you counter. control. Yeah, gotcha. That's better. <laughs> That's better for Tim. Yeah, it means he's not just dead to this Silumgar. <laughs> oh my gosh, Tim playing Kalitas. Yep, that's pretty good. And that's a Nissa. Yep. So these, Tim's, Tim's bear, uh, what's it called? Empty handed. I mean, Tim now gets to make his wolves 3 threes, which beat Jared's wolves. Yeah, but Jared, but Jared has, has a Silum so many cards and, like, in his hand. He can just double block. Like, there's just. Jared also has a Garuk, Cursed Huntsman. That guy is going to run away with this game. He also, next turn, gets to Elder Spell this Nissa and yep. ult his Garuk, if you would like. Really? To overrun and still have Garuk at one loyalty. Didn't need it. Tyrant Scorn in a turn. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's just going to destroy the ads. Oh, smart. There's just there's so much text on that card. Uh, it doesn't just make wolves, turns out. Wow, what a turn. Okay. So Tim has one 3 3 wolves, yep. but he has a Lockthwain. Castle Lockthwain yep. does get to draw cards. Oh, so Lockthwain on the stack, Jared's going to respond. Jared does have Disallows. He can choose to stifle I this Lockthwain. <laughs> I will find that. Just another dig. Dig through time in response to this lock thing. Digging for the disallow. <laughs> I don't know if that's the case. But I don't think so, no. I believe he found a torrential gear hulk, which lets him flash back this dig through time. Ooh, boy. What is this card? Thoughtsies. Okay. Jared has a drown in the lock. He might choose to counter this just to keep his torrential gear hulk. I think it makes some sense. I'm just going to give, nope. him the, give him the option. I mean, Jared's hand is stacked at this point. Tim has a 3 3. Jared also has a Grook Planeswalker. In yeah. his blue green or blue black yeah, deck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's the torrential, and Tim's three three gets to do nothing. I guess it blocks, but not well. No. It doesn't block Silumgar. So field of ruin on probably it's, Lockthwain. Yeah, I think you got to get that out of here. Yeah, I think drawing a bunch of cards is not great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Lockthwains are so good. It just reads draw a card and lose a life. It's yeah. just what's it called? Uh, Frexian Arena. Mm-hmm. On a land for four that mana. taps mana. <laughs> yeah. like it, it, it's very, very good. That like almost always enters untapped because you need yeah. one swamp. So Jerry keeps trying to take up this group, but that's not how that works. Making so he now wolves. has a lot of wolves. Tacking in for seven. It means he's got lethal next turn, and he's got a handful of spells Tim can see. Tim is hellbent. This is looking bad for our... Tim needs... Uh, what's the board wipe called? Link Crux of Fate. Oh, Crux, Crux of... No, no, Dragon. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. You'd have to name Dragon to get back your group to make two more blockers? But then Jared still has four. I don't, you have three? I don't know. That, that, that does kind of work. Does yeah. Tim have Crux of Fate? Uh, he does not run Crux right, of Fate. So that's not even out. So it's not even out. Ritual of Soot? Nope. Ritual of Soot's an out. It what? kills all those wolves, at least. For a turn? Yeah, but, like, I don't know. There's not... A ton. There's a murder strider. Yeah, there's a murder strider. It's not dead this turn now. Unless Jared has no action. Well, you can see Jared's hand and see that there's a few spells in it. There's zero action. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there's a, there's a triumph. Yep. And now Jared gets to attack with everything. All right, and that's it. In the game. Jared's going to the finals.